Um, sorry, I'm like so up close. <laughs> Um, doing this on the iPad Pro and I feel like it zooms in on me and maybe it doesn't it could look different once I go into editing but whatever um, this is a compilation of some daily vlogs of my Optavia journey and I think I mispronounced the diet program in the first where I'm unboxing so it's Optavia um, and I also want to go ahead and apologize, like, there's bad background noise when I'm at work, and there's a giant steering wheel in the way, <laughs> uh, when I'm in my car. Um, they're all very short, though, so, like, it's, it's minimal annoyances, I hope. The worst is probably me chewing and smacking, and the, uh, rapper noise. So, if you have headphones, it's going to be loud, so go ahead and turn it down. I try to turn down the volume on each video individually, um, to reduce that, but... You can't help it. It is what it is. Um, I'm obviously just taking one to two bites of everything. So it's not like you're watching me eat the whole thing. So um, it's not that long of the smacking and the chewing. And um, yeah, it's just this phone, the phone that I record on, it's just my cell phone, picks up crazy noise. Um, when you're actively sitting there chewing, of course you can't hear it. Man, it sounds like... Um, swallowing the microphone so um I just want to apologize for that and of course I didn't say I'm Bobby <laughs> so if you don't watch my floss tube um this is just a weight loss journey that I'm putting on my uh floss tube channel and I think I've been looking at the wrong dot for like six minutes <sighs> so annoying um yeah so um hope you enjoy my first week and what I put together and um, it will only be short little videos, weekly videos um, going forward with just like my way in and possibly a few little daily vlogs of new food that I haven't tried yet. So uh, we shall see. Hope you enjoy. Bye. Hello, hello, hello. Hopefully that wasn't too much shaking. Our load just jumped off the table and I've got Skeeter over here playing with his little toy. So if you hear that ball keep going around. Um, so I had mentioned on my last floss tube that I was going to start a diet. And um, it is a prepackaged food diet. It is called Octavia. Octavia. Um, that is it. And um, sorry, I don't know the wall behind me is really playing. We haven't hung pictures up. <laughs> so of Isis. They're a little, don't know what we're doing because I have all the stuff laid out here on the table and I will um, in the end insert a photo that shows um, everything that I got. But with this program, you eat six times a day in two to two and a half hour intervals. Uh, you're to go, sorry, Sarlo. You're to go no longer than three hours uh, in between meals because then your body thinks that you're in starvation. So um, they're small meals. That's basically, I'm pretty sure it's like no added sugar. Carbs are very low. Protein, um, it's a good amount of protein in most of the items. Now they have what, they have five fuelings a day and you start your first fueling within I think 30 minutes of waking up and then you plan your day um, every two, two and a half hours, however that works. I definitely have to do two and a half because if not, I'd be going to bed at like eight. <laughs> so yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, although right now I'm tired and that sounds lovely. But, so you have these five fuelings that you're doing throughout the day. And then the sixth meal is called a lean and green. And you can cook your own of the lean and green I chose to buy their lean and green just so that um, I have to think about it because I'm overthinking. I'm overthinking. I'm done thinking about stuff. I just want to be able to grab and go and know that I'm good. Um, plus, when my husband works nights, I'm been known to just eat Chex Mix, which is not good. So this way. And what? Oreos. Yeah, some Oreos, and I don't even like Oreos. But Yarn Tree keeps sending them every time I place an order with patterns and stuff from Yarn Tree, they send Oreos. And then I eat them. And like I said, I don't even like Oreos. So I um, 
my husband is not doing this with me, um, but he is said that he is going to, uh, when we start getting to where we cook our own linen greens, he's, he's going to be on that for me and uh, cook me some good stuff that's still um, part of the plan. All right, so I'm just going to run through like what I got just so you can see because I know I'm a nosy bitch. I like to see what people get. So um, I'm not starting until June 1st. So I'm going to separate everything out eventually. And I bought some stickers and some fun markers. And I got just like the lunch bags, the old school brown paper bags. And I'm just going to decorate them all and put what's in them. And then just have all the days lined up in my pantry to where I grab the bag and even have my dinner in it. And the bag just goes with me to work, home, all the things. So everything I need to eat for that day is just in the one place. Instead of me storing stuff upstairs um, in the shop area or me storing stuff down here or storing stuff at work, I just don't want to deal with it. So, okay, one of the first things you get, oh, there was, normally there's a packing list. We did not get a packing list. So I'm assuming I got everything I ordered. I will have to look at my order. Um, but I already had the camera set up and that's where uh, my order email is. So, so we've got your little blender bottle because there are a lot of shakes in here. Um, I will probably use a blender for my shakes with ice. So it'll be a little more slushy, slushy. Um, and then you also get, and I'm sorry if this is like a bunch of, this is different noises than what I normally have, right? And this lighting's a little weird. We have, um, I'm at the dining room table and we have a one, two, eight. Thank you, honey. <laughs> There's an eight canister light. They look like twisted ball, well, they are twisted ball jars. Um, not the bad kind of ball. Anyways, so that's up. So it's kind of bright coming from this way. So I look a little washed out, but, um, and I'm probably gonna have a headache because they're right there and I'm like staring into them as I, that's why I keep looking where I'm not supposed to look because it's further from the light, but whatever. You get Arlo over here. You won't be able to see any of them unless they literally come up on the boxes and hopefully they don't do that. Um, so I apologize now for that, but you'll hear them, I'm sure. So anyways, you get your guide and I'll just slowly toss stuff in this box. <laughs> and then you've got your Dr. A's. This is the dude that came up with it, Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson. It's Dr. A's Habits of Health. I feel like I'm back in school and um, yeah, I'm going to learn all about the thermic effect of food, learn about the habits of motion, the power of low glycemic eating, even explains the different preparations of food, like what sultane it. I mean, there's just a ton of, ton of stuff in here. So that'll be fun. Um, and then the really important one is your life book. Also very thick. And this is like your journaling and ask you questions and you answer the things and you talk about how you feel and um all that kind of stuff and then some of it being like making sure that you don't play the victim when things happen to you it's, it's really working on the mental aspect of weight issues so i think that's good i don't know if y'all can hear that arlo is running upstairs and it's so loud in this house but okay I'm going to start off with just showing you the fuelings I got and then I'll show you the leaning greens and then we'll go from there. Like I said, I'm not starting for, it's exactly a week, right? Today's Tuesday. Yeah, I'm not starting until next Tuesday, but I will smush all this together because I will also um, do a little bit every time I eat something, I'll tell you what I think about it. That way, if you decide you want to do this. You at least have my opinion. I mean, everybody's taste buds different, but I don't know. So I got honey chili cranberry nut bar and it's with flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, and almonds. So this is going to be like a granola bar. Of course, there's no picture, but just to show, just to let you know kind of what the nutritional facts are on this. So they're for one bar, which counts as a fueling, it's 110 calories and there's three grams of fats and there is 14 grams of carbohydrates in this four is from dietary fiber and six is the total sugars and then there's 11 grams of protein so there's just a lot of protein and 
we were talking about something because I know like I've always done Weight Watchers in the past and I really felt like I know the program so therefore I cheat the program a little bit know what I can get away with what I can't and I just have done it so many times and it works it really does I'm not saying that Weight Watchers doesn't work but I'm, I know the program and I'm bored with it and I needed something to like I needed something completely different than anything I've ever done I've never done prepackaged stuff um, I just needed something to like excite me I know it sounds silly but and I'm not saying that after I mean who knows after I do this for months and months I may eventually go back to weight who I don't know hopefully I'll just stick with this and lose my weight and be done with it <laughs> but gotta fix what's up here or you'll never be done with it um so yeah so those granola bars um and I know that there's some type of formula about that your protein should be close to like what the carbohydrates are or whatever to help like keep it low glycemic I don't know I'm just talking I may be making that shit up you know me I don't know. um chocolate mint crisp ooh, cookie crisp bar there's a little picture of it. Is that reflection? Oh, look, see, there's my thing. Oh, ooh, that looks like the aliens are getting me. Don't worry, we're not doing butt stuff here. Okay, so this, I'm told, is probably as close to a Girl Scout's Thin Mint cookie that you're ever gonna get on a diet. So I'm very excited about these, but then it makes me wanna put them in the refrigerator, because that's what I do. I put my Thin Mints in the freezer. Um, I'll have to eat one without that, and then we'll see. And my plan, I also got two boxes of that. <laughs> um, also my plan, I think, is that the things that I'm unsure about, like there's a couple things I ordered, I'm just kind of like, mm -hmm. I may or may not like it because you know, I have the palate of a five-year-old. So I'm gonna put those in my first few bags, a lot more of those, um, so I can see <laughs> how I really feel about them because a ton of people and I'm sure it has to do with um, bands lifting and stuff with um, the pandemic and people are getting out and people are now realizing since they've been laying around in sweats and leggings that they shit don't fit no more. So they are um, now wanting to find diet solutions. So apparently a ton of people have signed up for um, Octavia, Octavia, whatever, um, tomato, tomato, but that has put a strain because all the foods made in America that has put a strain on their I'm sure that sounds lovely you can hear all that congestion going on over there mm -hmm. be quiet but suck it's not to your brain okay so there's a big you know heavy burden right now on their shipping and they only send out so many UPS trucks and all the kind of things that happens and apparently some of that issues from what I was listening to um, somebody on YouTube saying that they're working on getting that fixed in the next couple weeks. That part should be fixed. It still doesn't fix the, um, they're out of a bunch of foods. I know some people are very super sad <laughs> that they're out of stuff. Um, I did hear the chicken noodle soup is phenomenal. When I ordered my box, they did not have any in stock. Um, I was told by my girl, Amy, who is also her and her husband are doing this. And, um, Amy is, and I'm going to mess it up every time. It is creatively, creativity, whatever. Do whatever you want to do with Gidge. <laughs> I mean, as long as you have consent. Um, so yeah, so Amy and her husband Jason are doing this and she let me, and she's, I'll explain this part too, she's my coach. And she's like, girl, I heard chicken noodle soup was back in stock. We just ordered a bunch. I immediately went on and went ahead and ordered chicken noodle soup before it's gone, because it'll probably be gone. So. Um, I hate that this wall is so blank behind us. We have pictures on a lot of the walls in here, but that one, <laughs> that's fine. I'm fine. Okay, so also what this is, it is like a, um, what's the fancy word for it now? Multi-level marketing program. I don't know, we call them pyramid schemes. But um, a lot of the coaches do it because when they sign up people to lose the weight and when you buy your food, it helps support them to buy their food. Um, I, I don't need that. And to be honest, I don't have the time to coach people as much as I would love. And so I'm just kind of doing this for free coaching, I guess, maybe, um, sharing it with you and telling you about things. But if you want to sign up and do this, I'm going to hit you on over to Amy, um, and get signed up with her because 
this girl ain't got time for coaching. I mean, I could, but I could have to close my uh, CrossFit store. Exactly. I don't have time. <laughs> so, um, I'm just looking to lose my weight and keep it off. Okay, so the next thing I got, and I got two boxes of this too, is Creamy Double Peanut Butter Crisp. And that was actually, look, the pr biggest problem I'm going to have with some of these that look really good is I'm going to want to eat them before June 1st. And I can't because it's a month worth of food. Keep looking at the wrong spot. Sorry. Okay. Then, I don't remember ordering this one, but I possibly did. But I only got one box because I'm unsure of it. And that is the Caramel Delight Crisp. As far as we say here, it's Caramel Delight Crisp. I mean, it looks okay. It's just a lot of caramel, and sometimes if it's like a fake caramel, it ain't that good. I don't know. I'm, I'm concerned. I'm concerned. But um, I'll give it a try. Like I said, I can't remember if I ordered that or not. Um, so the next bar, it's not all bars. It's other things too. But the next bar is Frosted Cookie Dough Bar. I know I didn't order this because I don't even like cookie dough. <laughs> Unless it's baked into cookies becoming cookies so they may have substituted this for something they were out of i just hope it wasn't something i was really excited about so um and you better be good because i don't think i ordered your ass okay all right is that all the bars i have a pile oh let me since this will be no more Yeah, so this, oh, let's do the, let's do a Muppet, a Muppet drinking. Oh, he keeps jumping in the box. <sighs> okay, now, you drink a ton of water on this, have to do a minimum of 64 ounces, and the first week they, it, <laughs> he's like, what the hell is all this shit? Um, <laughs> the first you want to say hi? He doesn't like to be held otherwise. I would totally hold him up to say hi. And that would teach him from staying out of my box. Um, the first week they also say get some power. Sorry, he's shaking the table. Get some power aid zero or Gatorade zero, the sugar free. Um, because that first week is going to be a lot of detoxing. And um, you need to replenish your electrolytes and stuff. Because most of the water you're going to drink is just flushing shit out. And it'll stick with you. So you may be dehydrated and have headaches. And so that's supposed to help that. And now we have Skeeter's attention, and he's coming over here, and I don't know why I'm out of breath. I can do it. Okay. Skeeter likes to say that sit on my feet. All right, so the next thing I'm going to go with are, and most of these fuelings almost are more like snacky food, and then the lean ingredients look like more like meal meal. There's, is there a tea in that cup? Well, we have a tea thief on the table, so you may want to pay attention. <laughs> Side note, sorry. Life's happening all around me. Um, so, yeah. So, this is jalapeno cheddar poppers. They mean, they look like, you know, I mean, they don't look like cheddar balls because they're not that neon artificial orange. But they're not cheese curls. They're puffs. They're balls. Those are not, those are puffs. No, the other ones, yes. Peanut gallery over here, he's flipping me off now. Okay, Skeeter, you can't be right up under my feet. Ooh, they love me, mommy. All right, and this is Zesty Cheddar and Italian Herb Crunchers. And these look more like a wannabe Cheeto situation. I bet they don't taste like Cheetos, but that's okay. They don't need to taste like you. And I'm sure everything's going to taste like crap the first week. And so my taste buds adjust and I get detoxified. Is that a word? Dude, you have no idea that little sniffle you did, how loud it shows up on this. It's so loud and so snotty. It's got the allergies. And then we live in a house full of animals with the hair. And then he goes and works in the garage and he's allergic to sawdust. <laughs> and he flipped me off again. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. What do I want to do next? Okay. We got old fashioned.
fashion maple and brown sugar oatmeal amy and jason did not care for this they didn't like the texture of it or at least amy didn't um i bought it against her advisement and told her i bought it just so i could let her prove me wrong i'm hoping i can prove her wrong because it also depends on how you like your oatmeal like i'm that weirdo like i don't want my oatmeal like smooth or liquidy i want mine to be like concrete or, you know, it gets stuck as you're trying to eat it down in your esophagus. <laughs> okay. Then I got rustic tomato herb pine. And all of these, I'm going to watch I'll open this one. This one won't be what I'm trying to open up. Just kidding. Okay. Those don't have the little pouches but I know those two. Oh anyways yeah I don't know what kind of pasta that is but I just hope it's good and this is hearty red bean and vegetable chili and there's some tricks to like making sure those red kitchen how kid I'm sure there's a kidney beans in there and kidney beans just there take forever to like get to a, a normal softness so I gotta learn some tricks on how to Put the water in that, do it, and then let it sit for a little bit. All right, and then I got, some of these must be new boxings, and other ones must be the old boxes. Spinach pesto mac and cheese with basil and a blend of Parmesan and Romano cheeses. There's no picture. So I don't know if these are the new boxes because they look like super fancy fancy, but I really wish I had a picture. And not of Parmesan cheese blocks. I, I know what that looks like. Do these have the? Oh. See, these are all shelf stable. I feel like I've got noodles in it. We shall see. So, this is going to be really fun dividing all this stuff out. And why do I sound snotty all of a sudden? Um, and this is sour cream and chives smashed potatoes. So I'm sure they taste just like, you remember potato flakes from the box? I'm sure that's what they taste like. Um, those they definitely, this is a lot of noise with the, just little packet. And pretty much everywhere I go, I have access to uh, microwave and water. That's really all you need. And so, yeah, shouldn't have, sheesh. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> okay. So next on, oh, let's finish. This is a breakfast. This is cinnamon crunchy O's. People say you either like them or you don't. Oh no, that's the red berry ones. They said that about. I feel like I know, like I'm talking like I know these things, but I've watched a lot of YouTube videos from different coaches and stuff. So you can have this with um, unsweetened almond milk, which you can use the vanilla unsweetened. Um, which is my fave anyways, if I'm going to use it, I don't mind it in some cereal. I don't mind it in smoothies. I will not drink a glass of it. It's a whole different ball game. Okay. This one is cinnamon cream cheese swirl cake. Again, I know what cinnamon sticks look like. Do not know what your cake looks like. So these get done in the microwave. Oh yeah, so these are the, okay, these are the ones that where you've got the pack and then they give you the little bowls to do it in. So it's gonna be, um, you know, how mug, cake mugs are. So I wonder how much protein this has in it. 11 grams of protein. So that's pretty good. Um, not doing a very good Tetris job over here, but that's fine. And then we have a belch of Dr. Pepper, I apologize, with a hint of Papa John's pizza. Decadent chocolate brownie with Greek yogurt chips. There are people that are putting this um, with ex their uh, espresso over ice and, and like mixing up, cause you know, it's, it's just powder. Um, mixing up and making like their iced coffee with it because they ran out of shakes. I mean, you do you, boo. I mean, if I run out of shakes and I need it, I don't think I'm gonna try it. I'm just not big on like, to me that's mocha and I'm not big on chocolate coffee. But 
I did get me some frothy cappuccino boost. Ouch. So we shall see. Cause I drink do coffee at work sometimes because work is hard and I need the coffee. And then I got creamy vanilla shake packets and I got two boxes of these. And what I'm going to use these for is 100% in going to Dunkin' or um, Starbucks, but more likely Dunkin' because it's closer. And getting two shots of espresso on ice and a large cup. And currently I do that occasionally, did it on Weight Watchers a lot because then I would use the pure protein shakes, put those in there and it like oh, makes the best iced coffee ever. So this I got to mix with water and then do the same thing. So I'm excited about those. And then this one will just be a shake and I'll probably put ice in them. So they make them a little thick, but it's silky peanut butter shakes and peanut butter shakes are my favorite shakes. Peanut butter ice cream is one of my favorite ice cream next to coffee ice cream. Okay. Take a little sip of the sip. All right, so now we're into the lean greens. And I got six of each of these. Five mils. Six of them. So yeah, you got your 30 days. Right? That's the math. Yep. Okay. Cause math. This is chicken with rice and vegetables. And I'll be honest with you, it's got like red peppers in it and I'm not a fan, but you know what? They're minced up pretty small, so I'll live. And this is turkey meatball marinara. I also don't eat turkey, but I hear these are actually really good because my turkey problem is mainly deli turkey. It's disgusting. It smells like barbs. Okay. So this is beef stew. And these are all shelf stable. So, you know, like Denty Moore or, oh, I don't know, cans of soup <laughs> or cans of Chef Bordy. <laughs> At first it freaked me out. And then I had to remind myself there's a lot of shelf stable foods that I eat with no problem and don't even think about it. Um, I've not, never eaten Denty Moore though. This is chili lime chicken and long grain rice. Now, the thing about this, so part of this program, and once I'm on it and I've been doing it a week, I'll be able to explain some of it better. Um, this is all just memory of what I've heard. <laughs> I haven't read a single book yet. They just, this literally just came in today. Um, you get like two or three, I don't know, condiments. And it, it's weird that they use the word condiment because I literally think mayonnaise, mustard, whatever. And now I swear to God, I'm sounding snotty. He gave it to me. He cursed me. So... But what that can mean is it could be sour cream. It could be laughing cow cheese. So the light laughing cow cheese, which most of the flavors of laughing cow are the light variety. My favorite is the garlic and herb, and I'm super excited about it. But a lot of people to make these meals, especially at first, just a little bit more um, along with what our taste buds have been eating shit for however long, are gonna still want that kind of food. Um, so if you take spicy jack cheese wedge from the Laughing Cow, um, yep. So pepper jack cheese up in the middle of this, since it's chili lime chicken, it's gonna make it taste like amazing. I'll probably be putting cheese in everything. <laughs> I mean, what I can, like however many I can use for the day. Um, and then also when you're cooking your own, like this is complete. Like, I don't think you add any more fats. I think it has all the fats you need. So with these, I don't add any more fats throughout the day. Whereas when you're making your own, depending on, um, the meat you choose, because there's lean, leanest, lean, leaner, and leanest. And the leanest, um, meats, which I can't, off the top of my head, think of what that is. Shrimp may be up there, but I'm not sure. But you have to incorporate two fats in the day if you have the leanest meat and it just helps digestion um lubricates the highway if that helps um and then if you pick the leaner meats you have to add one fat into your diet that day if you eat which is chicken breast is in that and it also has to do with how many ounces you can have like if you have the leanest it's like you can have seven ounces i believe um the leaner meats i don't recall what the ounces are on that 
Um, and then if you have the lean meats, that's like chicken thighs, which is I'm all no skin, all about the chicken thighs. Um, it's a smaller ounce, like that you're allowed to have, but that's fine. Um, you just don't add any extra fats to your diet for the day because it has enough fats. So this one is chicken cacciatore. So that should be interesting. I don't know if I've ever had it. <laughs> so yeah, that's it, right? Cause I started with chicken and rice and vegetables. Yep, 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 yeah, so that's it. That's everything I got. So I will, um, like I said, I'll add more clips and bunch it all together. And this is the shortest video I've ever made in my life. <laughs> it's 28 minutes. Um, because it doesn't involve stitching or the cats, right? <laughs> so, all right. Um, love that you guys are watching and um, watching this journey that I'm on. I am super excited and scared, <laughs> to be honest, um, because I'm recording this. I'm putting this out here. So if I fail, it's a public fail, um, but that's okay. I mean, I'm pretty open and honest. And uh, if I fail, I don't really know if it's failing. It just, if it doesn't work for me, that, that's a better way of saying it. Um, then this may end up being the Weight Watchers channel, but I hope not. I want to stick with this. Um, I like the idea. I like the concept. I'm getting very bored with food. Um, when I have all the options available to me, because we Postmate to work a lot, um, I, nothing sounds good. And I don't know ever know what I want to eat. Um, which tells me it's time. Um, if I'm bored with the endless possibilities of food, I just need somebody to tell me this is what you need to eat. Um, I'm tired of thinking about it. Um, so yeah, I think that's it guys. So again, thank you for, I don't want to say coming along with this journey because you may not be doing this journey, Cat. but thank you for watching me on this journey. See you next time. Bye. Okay. Sorry, it's a weird angle, but I'm here at work and I have nowhere to put my phone. I forgot to film my first fueling of the day. Surprise, surprise. It was honey, chili, cranberry, nut, um, bar and it was really good. It's a little peppery, but not spicy. It was really good. And now it's time for my next fueling. It's 9 a.m. Um, this is what I've got. It's the peanut butter shake. I um, put it in my blender bottle, blended it all up. Doesn't look like there's very much in there, so that makes me a little nervous. But uh, I'm not hungry right now, so um, that part's good. So let's see. It tastes pretty good. I mean, you definitely smell the peanut butter, so that part's good. Um, it tastes a little watery, but again, my taste buds are coming off of a joy ride that it's had for a month waiting on all this food. So um, I would imagine nothing's going to take taste amazing right off the bat. But you can definitely, it's not nothing that you're not going to be able to get down. And I definitely can tell that probably in a week or so this is going to taste like heaven um i've already got in a lot of my water today i'm ahead of my water um because the bar does make you thirsty when i was eating that um on the way to work so i was drinking a lot of my water so so far two fuelings um both decent like i feel like i can do this which is good i don't have a headache i don't have any issues yet um it's still early obviously but um Again, I'm not hungry. I am dealing with a toothache, which is annoying. So I'm hoping that doesn't um, put me into like a bad mood that's not has anything to do with the diet, you know. But we'll see. Again, sorry for the weird angle. Um, but thanks. I'll see you again back in two hours. Okay, I'm back for fueling number three, which is this. Hopefully, we don't get it interrupted workers walk in um it's the chili i did put a 
wedge of laughing cow cheese in it. I'm gonna try to get some without the cheese. It's hot. Mm, it's good. It's really good. I wish there was about 10 more cups of it in there, but it's really good. And I've got a piece without the cheese because I knew the cheese was going to be good. So, um, yeah, so far so good. So it's about 11.45 um, when I'm having this feeling. So I'll be back around. I think it's 2.30. 2, 2.30, 2, somewhere. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, so I am back for my next fueling, which is the creamy vanilla shake. And instead of mixing it with six ounces of water, I mixed it with cold coffee. So we'll see. Um, should be interesting. I don't know yet. Um, it's a weird taste. <laughs> I think next time I have the vanilla shake, I'll try it by itself to see if it's the coffee or the vanilla shake that's the weird. Um, and I mean, it's just black coffee and it's only six ounces, but like, um, I don't know. I mean, it's fine. I'll be able to drink it, but it's just, um, all other feelings that I had today were really good. I was surprised. They were, I don't say they were really good. They were good. They were edible. Like it's not a big deal to eat them. I think in a week they're going to taste amazing. Um, I'm ready for that. Um, I think I'm gonna have to switch some stuff around because my next feeling is supposed to be at like 4 30 while I'm driving. So instead of having my chocolate mint cookie crunch bar, um, at 9, 9.30 like I was going to, um, I'm going to have to add an optional snack to my situation because my days are too long. And so at 4.30, I'm going to eat that because that's mobile. And then at 7 o'clock-ish, I will eat my lean and green, um, which I think by the time I get to that, I'm going to probably lick the bowl. I'll be ready for it. And then at the 9 o'clock hour, since I'm get ready, start getting ready for bed, um, I will probably have just a sugar-free jello. I need to stop at the store and get those. But, yep. So, so far, I mean, like I said, it's not terrible. It's just not strong vanilla or strong coffee. It's a very weird thing. So, all right. See you at the next one. Okay. Change of scenery. I'm now home. Been home for maybe 10 minutes. Um, that's fine, Arlo. We don't want you on camera anyway. So this is my next, this is my leaning, I'm just gonna make noise. This is my leaning green. It's the chicken uh, with rice and vegetables. And I have to admit, it looks gross. <laughs> um, yeah, it does not look very appetizing, but it looks like it's got a lot of red peppers in it, which I do not like, but we're gonna go for it. All right. It tastes all right. Um, I mean, it's not horrible. Um, I get a little hint of that red pepper taste. So it always makes me feel a little, uh, but there's something in that it's crunchy. That's weird for me. Um, see if I can figure out what that is. Could be the celery. Okay, you can't have this. It could be, could be the celery. I don't see anything else in here. Um, that would still have that crunch. It just, it feels, oh, nope, there it is. I was about to say, it feels more like water chestnuts and water chestnuts are on here, so... It's not the celery, it's the water chestnuts. Um, but, I mean, once you get past that texture, 
It's all right. I mean, right now, chicken's good. It seems amazing because this is a pretty big thing of it, but it's not like gelatinous looking, but um, that's a pretty big thing of it. So like for me right now, I'm all about, and it's amazing. And I'm about to have some Powerade to help put back some electrolytes. It's a zero sugar one. Put back some electrolytes in. So I will come back with my final fueling of the evening, which when this pushed me a little bit, so I think it's like at 7.45. So, yep, we'll see. All right, bye. Okay, I have no good place to put my camera. So currently I have cabinet doors <laughs> open and it's sitting against the sugar. <laughs> Um, this is my last feeling of the day. It's the chocolate mint cookie crisp bar. So we're going to see how it is. It is like 745-ish. Looks yummy. We got Sheila Ray checking us out. I think she's going to get a treat. Oh, yeah. This is good. Mm-hmm. Very much like a thin mint. I'll say it's way more mint. Is it cooking? Maybe. Pretty close. But um Yeah, this is good. I will definitely be getting more of these for my um last feeling of the day it's like my little dessert um i also have brownies and cream cheese cinnamon swirl cake but this was today's so um yeah so this concludes day one and i did okay <laughs> so um see you next time Hello! I know I'm coming at y'all with these weird angles because um, I don't have <laughs> a little tripod or anything um, to hold my camera up, but I almost forgot to do my first fueling of the day because um, this is different than what I had yesterday. This was frosted cookie dough and um, I was not really looking forward to this one because I'm not a cookie dough fan, but it really wasn't that bad. Um, I'll probably get it again. So, um, I also weighed in this morning and I think I'm down two, two 2.1 pounds, I think, which I know is mostly water weight, but I'll take it. <laughs> so, um, and I'll try to, before each day vlog, I'll try to put the starting weight of that day, um, in the front of it or whatever so all right now I'm off to the dentist to deal with this tooth bye okay weird angles again um all right so today I already filmed my breakfast the breakfast bar thing that I did and then my next fueling was a peanut butter shake which you already saw my reaction to that so this is the rustic tomato herb and then I put a wedge of the laughing cow light cheese in it here we go. That is so good. I mean, I can eat 15 bowls of it, but oh my God. Oh my God. Hell, that is good. I am so shocked by how good the feelings are. Makes me a little nervous. <laughs> so. Okay, I'll see you at the next one because the next one is Cinnamon Crunchy O's. And I hear this is either you love them or you hate them. So that'll be interesting. Um, see you later. Bye. Okay, weird angle. Um, now I'm back for my next feeling. It's the Cinnamon Crunchy O's. I will say they smell very um, artificially, like how artificial sweetener smells. These may not be as good, but we'll see. Oh, 
not bad. I like cereal dry, so that's how I'm doing it today. Um, it definitely has a, it's probably the soy protein or the monk fruit. I don't know. It definitely has a little bit of a weird flavor to it. I may not get these in my next box, but I can push through the ones I did get. So, next, chili lime, chicken, and rice for dinner. And I'm going to add a, um, what is it? I just lost the train of thought. Um, <laughs> it's the, the spicy cheese. <laughs> Um, pepper jack oh my god pepper jack cheese wedge with laughing cow to it so and make it um taste really yummy so all right see you next one i'm looking at the wrong spot sorry okay don't mind the hair <laughs> this is my lean and green this is the one i've got um i put a laughing cow wedge of pepper jack cheese in it this is the big bowl of it. Let's see. That's good. It's spicy. I'm sure it's cheese. Sorry, you're just getting to see my forehead. Um, I went ahead. Pause. Skeeter. I went ahead and made my brownie because I'll probably eat it in bed <laughs> a little bit because my tooth hurts and so I've been getting in the bed. So I went ahead and made it. That's me sticking my finger in it to make sure it was done because I didn't go for as long as it said. And so I'm just going to, it'll be cold by the time I eat it. I'm going to get to eat a warm one, but that's okay. Um, all right. Yeah, so far so good. Everything's good. See you next. Well, you won't see me because I'm not. Well, I may film the brownie. We'll see. All right, bye. Okay, ignore the giant steering wheel in the way. I have nowhere to set up my phone. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I'm getting ready to leave for work, so it's early in the morning. I look tired. This is cranberry honey nut granola is my fueling for the day. And I actually remembered to do my first fueling. Imagine that. Oh, and the brownie last night was really good. Um, it tasted like, you know, this mug and a cake mixes. So it tastes like, and the, um, it's got Greek yogurt chips in it. And I promise you upon first eating them, you think you're eating like white chocolate and then you get a little bit of like the tang like yogurt has and then you're like oh, okay no that's not chocolate that's something different but that's good all right let's see sorry all the paper let's see how this goes that's what it looks like it may taste like a granola bar <laughs> um yeah just a little more like they're on the I don't want to say drier side it's not the dry but there's definitely like sorry i'm like way back here <laughs> like the protein powder protein that they put in it you definitely can tell they make you thirsty which is good you're supposed to be drinking water so i've got my oh for fox sake drink your effing water my little measurements. You can tell I just put water in there. It's all condensating. But, alright. Um, I have, I think my next feeling's a, what is my next feeling? Let's check the bag. Because I made cute little bags of stickers. Right? And this one's great. It says, your energy introduces you before you even speak. Um, I've got, oh, peanut butter shake is next. I mean, y'all have seen me do that, but I'm gonna go ahead and film that one because I'm gonna mix it with almond milk today instead of water. So, we'll see. And then, um, 
spinach pesto mac and cheese and I put a wedge of laughing cow in here light laughing cow so I may mix it with that we'll see and then frothy cappuccino boost so I add that to my coffee um, and then beef stew is for dinner and then chocolate mint crisp so which y'all already seen that's like the Girl Scout cookie one all right so um, I'm down another oh my calculator's on my phone um, I think it was like 2.3 pounds today 2.1 the first day and like 2.3 today I think so almost four and a half pounds a bird trying to make its nest up in our lights my husband's not gonna be happy with that oh make sure it wasn't a nest sorry squirrel <laughs> so <laughs> okay um I'm gonna go to work now because I'm gonna be late if I don't <laughs> I'll see you at the next viewing bye okay again weird angles I don't have anything to put this phone up. I moved it from my keyboard over here to my adding machine. I don't think it's any better. All right, so this is my second feeling of the day. It's my peanut butter shake, and this time I mixed it with one cup of vanilla unsweetened almond milk. I think we're about to get interrupted. I heard somebody moving around out there. Ooh, I got some powder on the lid. Hold on. That's not happened before. powder up in there. Alright, I'm going to pick out the side. Mmm. <laughs> that is like really creamy with the milk. I mean, it was good with water. It's really good with the milk. I think I will continue drinking it this way. I probably can't hear me over how loud that is. I'll probably continue drinking it that way. Um, so the next fueling is spinach pesto mac and cheese for my lunch so that should be interesting all the ones that i've been all the feelings that i've been using for lunch have been phenomenal so i'm excited to try that one um i'll see you back then bye okay i have to talk really fast because i um i'm right at my three hour mark i got sidetracked at work okay so this is the spinach Pesto, mac and cheese. Probably gonna put green stuff in my teeth, but it's fine. And I put a, a wedge of laughing cow in it. Mmm, that's good. Not as good as the chili and the rustic tomato, but it's good. Um, I mean, I'd eat it again. Those other two were on fire. So, I don't know. I may or may not get this in my next box. Well, I probably will because I do need these lunchtime ones. <laughs> so, and I will probably get really burnt out of rustic tomato and uh, chili. So, um, all right. Uh, my next fueling, I actually have a meeting with a banker. I think at that time, I think I pushed it back now because this one's so late. That should be okay, but it's the frothy cappuccino, so I'm just gonna add it to black coffee. And we shall see. All right, thanks. Okay, quick and dirty. My door's open. People are coming in and out. This is what I had. I added it to coffee instead of water. I do not like. Oh, well, yeah, I mean. Hold on. It's all right. I ain't ordering it again. I'll try it with water next time. Because it was supposed to be put in water. <laughs> so I'll try it with water next time. We'll see. Hello. Okay. So, sorry for the weird angle. Again, I know I keep saying that. So, this is my lean and green. Beef stew. Um, it looks good. <laughs> we shall see. It's hot. I don't like it. I 
I've had two bummers today. That sucks. I don't like it. I will not be ordering these next time. Um, not a fan, but I'm going to eat it. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's my husband's phone. So I think my fueling tonight is the um, chocolate mint cookie bar, which I've already filmed me eating that, and it's good. So um, until tomorrow, bye. Hello. Okay, I'm down. This is day four. I'm on Optavia. I'm down another two pounds. That's so a total of six point something pounds. Math is not good for me in the morning, which is sad. I'm an accountant. Um, but this is my first feeling of the day. I haven't had one of these yet. It's the Caramel Delight Crisp. Um, I think this is one where a lot of people are not a fan. So we shall see. And get it open. Okay, wish me luck. Oh, not bad. Um, it just has that real, um, like sugar free caramel taste to it, but not like. The other sugar-free taste, like the um, my cranberry one yesterday, which is tasted overly artificially sweetened, and I know they don't use tons of that because I know they don't use aspartame or anything, so I don't know if it's like the monk fruit or something <clears throat> that they use to sweeten it. I mean, it has sugar in it. I don't know. But, um, this is actually pretty good. I'm, I'm pleased with this. Um, I got a good bag today, I hope. <laughs> um, I got three, four new things on it, though. And I was having a little bit of a pity party last night because, literally, my first feeling was just okay. The peanut butter shake with the almond milk was glorious. And then my spinach pesto mac and cheese was just okay. I mean, it was more okay than the first feeling, but wasn't as good as the chili and the rustic tomato. And then um, the frothy cappuccino was, I, I didn't like it at all. Like, not at all. Like, I'm not going to lie. It was everything in me to get most of it down. And I don't think I finished it, which is bad. Um, so I had a healthy snack. Because I was afraid I didn't get enough calories. Um, eh, what are you going to do? Um, and that beef stew. I did not like it. I ate every bit of it and bitched the whole time. <laughs> so my husband was like, this is gross. This is not good. This is not good. Um, my coach suggested um, to put the pepper jack cheese. I just was like, ugh, cheese and a beef stew? Of course it was after the fact had i should have after i took a first bites and didn't like it i should have just put it in there just well i mean it couldn't have made it worse right um so also your taste buds start changing like my taste buds are fighting me right now because i ate shit for a year or more um and heavily ate like crap the three weeks leading up to this because i was doing my farewell to to horrible bad food tour um so I'm going to try everything that I don't care for. I'm just going to hold it back a week and not have those. Um, so I may have to rearrange some of my bags. But I'm just going to hold those off and try them again in a week. Because, you know, your taste buds change. And, um, yeah, I mean, we'll see. So, all right, I got to get to work. I'm going to be late. But in my bag today. So this was the Caramel Delight Bar, which is my first time. So my next feeling is the Maple Brown uh, sugar oatmeal, which my coach doesn't care for because it's a texture thing, which I'm a texture eater, so it should be interesting. Um, and I'm afraid it probably is going to taste artificially sweetened. Um, but I got chili for lunch, so I'm super excited about the chili. And then I've got jalapeno cheddar poppers. It's the first, I haven't had any of the snacks, um, like the, the chip-like snack stuff. 
Um, so that'll be interesting. And then dinner is my leaning green is chicken cacciatore. Um, I don't think I've ever had that non-healthy way. So that should be interesting. I don't know if I'll like it or not. Um, and then dessert, dessert. My last fueling of the day is that chocolate mint bar that tastes like a thin mint. That's I freaking love. So I ordered more of those for sure. So, um, all right. I'll see you guys at the next fueling. Bye. I know. That was terrible. Okay. So it's probably gonna be lots of conversation. My door's open. I forgot to shut it, but I gotta eat. So here's the jalapeno cheddar poppers. My next one. They taste like, I don't know, Kix cereal that like has no flavor, but it's just a ball like this. It tastes like Kix cereal with a good, like, seasoning rub on. They're pretty good. I can see where they're going to make me really thirsty, though, which is good. So, uh, kitchen, kitchen, chicken cacciatore is next. So, we'll see. Bye. Okay, so I'm back with my leaning green. And it's the chicken cacciatore. Um, like I said, I don't think I've even had this, like, non-diety. <laughs> Why do my eyes look really red? Yuck. Um, I put a wedge of laughing cow cheese in this. Um, since my beef stew was not very good last night. So, let's see. It's fine. It's um chicken and noodles, <laughs> basically. With um a tomatoey like sauce, I guess. Um, not bad. Like, yeah, it's fine. Um, beef, beef stew, no, no. So, all right. And then my last feeling is another like the Thin Mint Bar, so I will probably won't record that. So, see you tomorrow. Okay, weird angle again. So, I'm doing my lean and green for my lunch today, and um, I just made a salad. So, I substituted, I used a little bit of cheese as a protein and reduced my chicken, so I got five ounces of chicken in here, a chicken breast and one ounce of uh, reduced fat cheese. So, and then I've got my romaine, I've got my half a cup of cherry tomatoes and a half a cup of cucumber and then two tablespoons of light ranch. And it's just a salad. So good. The light ranch is just a little tangy compared to regular ranch, but it's not bad. I mean, it's huge. It's a huge salad. I'm really excited about this. So that means I have a feeling that when I normally would have had my lean green, and I think it's the sour cream and chives um, mashed potatoes, and I'll probably put a wedge of laughing cow cheese in that. So see you back for that one. Hello. All right, so I'm back with a fueling <coughs> wow scared the cat oh it's arlo all right i'm back with a fueling um it is the sour cream and chive mashed potatoes i don't know what he's doing back there i'm mixing in one wedge of the light laughing cow and we shall see. These are hot, hot, hot. But we shall see. Okay. They're good. They're like mashed potatoes. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know why I thought they would taste differently. But, yeah, they're good.
So this is a keeper. All right. I have a brownie tonight. Y'all have already seen me eat a brownie, so you don't have to see me eat another brownie. So I'll come back to you with whatever fueling is a new fueling. Thanks. Okay, guys are in the cupboard again. Um, so I already had one of my fuelings. This morning was the frosted cookie dough, which you've already seen. This is the vanilla shake, which you have seen, but I put it in coffee and didn't like it. So um, let's get ready on the counter. Um, so I put it with just almond milk today. So see how it is. It's not bad. I need to mix it up some more. Um, it just, it's not as good as the peanut butter. And they're out of peanut butter. So in my next box, I don't have any peanut butter, which is super sad. But as soon as they're back in stock, I will place a separate order. And order, like, a damn case of peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. It's vanilla. Um, but again, not as good as peanut butter. So, um... I weighed this morning and I was outside. I don't know if anybody knows anything. If you live in the South, you get it. Um, our summers, they are hot. Like when they're like 90 degrees, it's hot, but it's like you can cut humidity with a knife. And it was so humid yesterday that that's it. Just rub on the clean dishes. Yep. Appreciate it. So when, so when you, uh, hi Icers, I don't know where she's at, but she's yelling. Who are you, oh, you want to say hi to? Hey. Hi. Okay. So the, when you sweat, it doesn't get absorbed. Like when you're out in dry heat and you sweat and the whole point of like your body is like you sweat and that's how you cool down because then it evaporates on your skin, blah, 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 blah. Well, here in the South where it's muggy, it shit don't evaporate. It just sits on your skin. So, um, I think I retained some fluid from being outside for a few hours yesterday in that muggy, muggy weather because when I woke up this morning, like my left ankle was a little swollen, which is how I know when I'm retaining fluid. So, um, so I only went down, I say like only, but <laughs> I went down 0.2 when I'd been having two pound losses daily. I just went down 0.2. So I'm at 8.6 so far, and this is day six, I think. So, I mean, I am not complaining by any means. I'm just, um, and the way I also know that I'm retaining fluid is I have already drank 32 ounces of water today and I have not peed. So I've got to somehow hopefully kick um, my body into gear to start shedding this water, um, which it, it'll, it'll happen. I mean, you can't I have another 32 ounces of water to drink today and then I'll probably um, partake in my sugar-free uh, power aid just to make sure like I'm not gonna get headaches and with the electrolytes and all the things so um, yeah so I think I think all the other feelings I have today you guys have already seen so it's nothing new uh, I am gonna do the salad again for my middle day um, time and then do my rustic tomato uh, pasta stuff for my dinner time uh, feeling. I'll do my lean and green in the middle of the day because I really enjoyed that yesterday. Um, took me out of my pity party, which is good because it was, the food is fine. Eating that, you do not feel hungry. It's a mental game. You have, I have a pity party because it's not fair that I'm fat and I can't eat anything I want to. Um, and while what I was outside all day for would have been torture a few days ago but because i had that lean and green i think for lunch and it was a whole food lean and green like it was i don't want to say real food because their packaged foods real food but you know what i mean um it helped me because what they were doing is smoking uh boston butts and making potato salad because my husband's taking food he's uh doing uh, a wedding today and so they were making all this food and his potato salad is like the best potato salad in the world and everybody's tasting it because we had a couple friends over they're all tasting it and I'm just sitting there like being like I hate all of you but 
it was, I did fine. Um, it would have been worse, I feel like, had I not had my lean ingredient lunch. So, all right. That being said, I'll see you next time I have a feeling you haven't seen. <laughs> and I don't even know if I have any more that we haven't seen. Oh no, there's some cheese curls or crunchers or whatever that I've not had yet. But I think, oh, and the peanut butter crisp bar. I think that's it though. I think I only have two items that we've not seen. Um, oh, turkey meatballs, that's a lean and green. But I'm telling you, I think I'm gonna do more of my own lean and greens and just save those for emergency situations. So we'll see. All right, thanks. All right, wet hair. Um, this is day seven. And I was up 0.2 today. Um, so I'm not really sure what that's about, unless it's just my body. Sorry, this is in the way. Unless it's just my body adjusting to the past two days, me doing my own lean and green. Or it could be that I started taking antibiotics. Um, but I feel like I'm retaining fluid, even though I'm drinking 64 ounces. So, I don't know. Um, creamy double peanut butter crisp. I don't think I've had one of these yet. Um, I think it's just a number five, so I don't like weighing every day. But I'm supposed to my first week. I prefer to weigh once a week so you can see the cumulative. Because had I got on the scale today and only saw, um... 8.4 even though yesterday was 8.6 I wouldn't have known that I would have seen 8.4 and I would have been ecstatic so I think I'm gonna go to only weigh in once a week once I'm done with my weekly weigh-ins with my coach or daily weigh-ins with my coach so all right here we go oh my god okay so funny thing about this <laughs> so I tried this Week and a half ago, because I had extras. I haven't had it since. And me and Chad ate it, like, and split it. And he said it was pretty good. And he was like, it's pretty dry, though. Like, it makes you want to drink water, which is fine, because that's what I'm supposed to do. The difference in one week of me being on this and how this bar tastes is insane. This, I mean, it was good. When I just tried it right out the box and still eating all my shit food. Today, this damn thing is amazing. Like, it's so good. Like, I hate that I've waited a damn week before I eat my peanut butter bars. Like, this is so good. So good. Man. All right, guys. Um, hopefully, I can compilate all this, get my weigh-in in the morning. And hopefully have a video up maybe tomorrow evening, Tuesday. We'll see. Um, okay. Until then, with the steering wheel in the way. I have to find a better car set up, but I got a weird dashboard, so I don't know. But, and I can't do it holding my hand out, so. All right. See you later. Bye.